Okay, folks, just at the last BCW show, all we got to do is film little intros for parts one and two, and we can get it up, get it up while it's hot. I don't want this to be one of those things where we take like three years to get our shit up. No. Let's get it out now while it's still in the zeitgeist. Okay, everybody, thinking caps on. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay, okay. So, huh, huh, uh, we could do... Uh, 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 well, there. Okay, we could be the main star. I don't know. 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 Costumes. Um, well, Alright, right. hold on. Let's get Michael burn. Bay. Alright, Drew, hit me. Do you think Kane's ever gonna put his mask back on? Idiot! Who cares? Do you have any ideas? I don't. Hmm. However, have you ever considered growing out your beard? Uh, I don't know. It gets itchy. But we're, we're getting off topic. Kelly, what do you have? Oh, uh, oh, ideas, ideas, um, ideas, ideas. Give me a sec here. I, I can probably think of something. I don't know what it's. But you just give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'm thinking. 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 I got something. I got. I'll come up with something. Don't you worry. I got. 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 Um, um, I'm too tired to, to think of anything, um, uh, you guys just, you guys just, I'll let you guys handle it, I'm just gonna curl up with a book, I think there's one right here, I think it's Goosebumps, what is it, yeah, War and Peace by R.L. Stein. yeah, I think I'll read that, see what we got, got some monsters or something. Alright, Justin, my man, what do you got for me? Wait, what's that? Sorry, sorry, I just... Have you heard about this new James Cameron movie? It's, it's like everything you want in films, but these two blue kitties fucking. Look, wait, really? No, we're getting off topic. We need some ideas, damn it. Ideas? You know what? I'll think of something, all right? Just, just, uh, let me, just let me close my eyes for a second, okay? Well, we lost one. Dan, save this promo. Okay, okay, ideas, ideas, ideas. Okay, save this promo, save this promo. I'm gonna save this promo. Okay, how about this? We do that really big Tor human spot where we get like a dozen guys and we all take turns chopping Drew right in the chest. No. Okay, fair. Instead, how about we rent a dunk tank and we suspend Scott over a giant vat of sour cream. We'll just tell him that it's whipping cream. I'm right here and no. Fair enough. Okay, how about we rehire Red Money and do that lingerie pillow fight we've always talking about, him versus Kelly? Fuck you. Okay, I can see you not wanting to do that. How about we all hop in Justin's FJ Cruiser and we haul ass to Lollapalooza? Hmm, okay, well, um, then I've got, no, I, I don't have any, anything. Oh boy. Uh, Scott, what's the deal with the Penn State shirt? Are you a fan of theirs or something? Eh, to be honest, they kind of just got it because of the kitty on the front. But they got that real famous head coach, don't they? Uh, yeah, Joe Paterno. Yeah, yeah, he's been there forever. And, you know, he's going to be there another 20 years. Yeah, and they got that uh, assistant coach, too. He's a big name. Uh, Jer uh Jerry Sandusky? Yeah, yeah. He seems like a stand-up guy. So it's not 2003? No. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, yeah. I'll have to go uh, change before my match, but that's okay. Um, so I'm very nervous because this is my first time speaking English. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. Really appreciate it. For real. Thanks. Uh, 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 u
quick shout outs to uh, some folks who aren't here or aren't here yet. Uh, some folks who help make uh, BCW what it was. Uh, Jacob Miles, big, big name. It's a good guy. I don't know. I don't know. I like him. Whatever. <laughs> he may be coming later. Uh, Jacob Miles, Jason Drake, not letting him know. Good guy. Shout out, uh, shout out to the uh, original Van City crew, your, uh, your outstanding guys, my Andrew Pools, your the Deans, uh, both of them were going to come today, but got fucked around by work, unfortunately. Um, hard, hard on Hum, who I believe is uh, still coming today. Uh, your Mob of the Hurons, your, uh, your Sir Rams, your Big Sam Pools, all those guys. All those guys that nobody here fucking knows, but, but, without whom none of you would be in this building today, whether you know it or not. Because if in the year 2000, when I rented the trampoline for the summer and asked my asshole friends from high school, hey, do you want to go wrestle on it? And they said no, uh, guess what? None of this would have fucking happened. So it's a big deal. Um, so yeah, so we started on a trampoline in my backyard in the year 2000. Now we're here in a warehouse in Port Coquitlam in the year 2009. Years, which is yeah, yeah, no, that's that's too many. That's why we're stopping. It left me be absurd. And be between Vancouver and Port Willem, we've been, I'd say, a lot of places in between. Been to Washington, Burnaby, Burnaby, <laughs> Washington, Ontario, Ohio, Tennessee, uh, uh, all all over the all over New England, uh, New York. Uh, regular England. New England. Regular England. England. We went to England. They ate me. A fucking shark ate me. <laughs> wow. Flew to England. Flew to England. So, yeah, so we've been up, down, all around, everywhere in between. Here we are right now. Last week's show, July 26, 2009. And so I just want to thank all. I believe the uh, head count, uh, official head count was uh, uh, 1,412. Yeah. All, for, <laughs> all 1,412 here for coming out here to the last show of BCW season one. <laughs> uh, it was a good season. Nine years long. Nine years long, 341 shows. We'll be back in the fall with hopefully another season of similar length and episodes. So uh, look forward to that. We'll be going. Uh, we're going into 2018 with our next 341 episodes. So look forward to those. Uh, what's that? No, we're not doing that. No, no. So not just season one. Season everything. Oh, series. Well, this is this, this is uh, once again things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday. <laughs> But, all right, okay, uh, so how about, uh, welcome to the real last week's of the show, apparently. Not even season one, the real last one! <laughs> the 341 shows, there have been 76 different people who have stepped in this ring, or one like it, over the years, thanks to all 76 of you, because it wouldn't have been exactly the same without you. Um, as I said, uh, 341 shows, a uh, weird number to end on. We would have liked uh, to end on a more round number. We were like, why? why don't we do nine more shows so we can end on 350? That's a good, that's a good, that's a hard number. Tree fitted. That's a tree fitted. Tree fitted. That's, a, that's a, hearty, it's a hearty number to end on. But, uh, but, and he was sort of joking, he said, because we are, like, we're done scheduling and stuff, but, um, we're like, nine more shows? Uh, if we did nine more shows, we might die, because everyone's pretty fucked up right now. <laughs> so um, it, it may be good that this is the last one. But even though people are uh, somewhat on the, uh, on the fucked up side, um, no one's going to be uh, leaving anything in the back uh, this evening, for sure. Everyone 
it's uh, maybe some people's last match ever, or and at the very least, close to last match ever for just about everyone on the show tonight. Um, so yeah, uh, we's going to be going all out, this is for sure. Um, we just had our 10th uh, uh, Canada Day Massacre, um, which is a rather impressive feat. You don't see, uh, you don't see 10 of a lot of Who gets to 10 anymore? I mean, 9-11 was a big thing, and it's only had seven anniversaries. <laughs> Some of our candidates show that many of them have said bigger than 9/11. So, and, 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 uh, well, of course, the ones after that happened after 9/11. Although the one that happened in July 2001, surprisingly, the report said bigger than the upcoming 9/11 attack. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bush, read your intelligence reports, buddy. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, one, one more quick thing. Um, I recently put the whole uh, BCW. Uh, library on the DVD, and I was going through stuff, and some, most of the DVDs I made sound like I've other people, and I saw one that was just listed, uh, Tag Tournament, this one, and and I'm like, what the hell is that? It was the, uh, it was day one of the Tag Tournament uh, at Back in Fast State, where a whole bunch of people flew in, and we did a big Tag Tournament when no one even wanted to wrestle. So, being borderline obsessive and compulsive, I was going to uh, lab label it uh, very, uh, specifically so I wouldn't forget it and then I thought to myself I'm I'm not gonna forget it because uh, I know exactly what it is and I'm not gonna forget so many other big shows and, and little shows that we've done over these uh, nine plus years and um, and uh, everything we've done together everyone we've met every place we've gone uh, so I just want to I'm, I'm not good at uh, being uh, sincere or serious without uh, coming off <coughs> vaguely sarcastic, um, but I, I do uh, truly mean uh, thank you to everyone here and everyone not here that will watch this later uh, for making BCW uh, what it is and what it was. Uh, this is what I've been doing for fun on the weekends for just about 10 years and and you know what, It's it really has been fun and, uh, and uh, thank you very much. And, uh, it's close. It's close. It's close. But, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for coming. Um, we got a good show. I don't want to take more of your time. I think we can pretty much get underway with the first match. Thank you very much. I fucking mean that. here at the last VCW show ever. Mitch and Deppin coming out to some old school theme music. Yeah, hasn't uh, used that as a theme for quite some time. This is scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit. And it is uh, match one of a three match round robin between Mitch Deppin, Craig Young, and Sight. This is the first match in the corner to the right. Haley from Shoreline, Washington, weighing in tonight at 272 pounds. The big gun, Craig Young! I always have the big fun. Big old kids. His opponent in the near corner to the left, weighing in at allegedly well over 800 pounds. Yeah. from Shemokin, Pennsylvania, USA. He is Mitch Deppin! Like we said, we got the opening contest of VCW's last show ever for real slash K thanks bye. Long time VCW member Mitch Deppin, uh, a member since I guess 2003, made his uh, made his debut at the 2003 Canada Day Massacre. Uh, became a regular member about six months later in uh, late 03, early 04, and has been full-time in BCW ever since. So, and so an easy uh, five and a half years, if not more, into his BCW career here. 
Craig Young, of course, coming up from the BXW promotion in Washington, slash, uh, Washington, comma, the United States. <laughs> slash. slash. Those, those, those are the two names of the United States. The United States of Washington. Anyways, sorry, I cut you off. Really, for no good reason. <laughs> Which Devin, with his fancy Cole Nelson maneuver, getting back into a hammerlock here. And uh, if you heard in the intro, we have a we've got a three-man round robin on this uh, final show. Mitch Deppen, Craig Young, and also including Syke, who you'll see in singles matches with both of these men later in the Whoa. night. And the winner of the round robin is the winner of the last round robin <laughs> in BCW history. Yeah. So that's worth something. Yeah, is it a round robin for anything or just for uh, bragging rights? It might be a round robin for everything. <laughs> yeah, okay. You, you win the last round robin. Good for you. This uh, And this round robin actually only came together uh, on the day of this show because what was scheduled was just a regular singles match between these two men you see right here and a singles match between Syke and Christian Drake who had made a couple of uh, return BCW appearances in the year 2009. Christian Drake, however, on this day, nowhere to be found, not even a phone call. So Christian Drake, if you're listening and you're not, go fuck yourself. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> about sums up my opinion on the, uh, the situation as well. Yeah. Oh! That was kind of a hybrid stomp, stomp drop, kick. drop kick. Yeah, it was like a 45 degree or yeah. <laughs> stomp kick. Only gets a two though. Oh, did you ever go see that uh, Broadway show Stomp Kick? That was good. I don't know. I've heard a stomp or clomp or uh, I'm not sure what it's called. Are you thinking of the clumps? Whoa. Oh yes, that's right. That was a good show too. They made that into a Broadway musical, didn't they? Yep. Okay. Oh, oh we should have a good, just get steamrolled. That's the thing. You know, this really is a, 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 a matter of size versus, uh, Can't do it. I, I guess, kind of the wiry s speed, I guess, size is the right word. Size versus not size. Yeah, you know, that's the thing with uh, Craig Young is is pretty agile for a guy his size. He is, of course, his finisher, the uh, the BME, the yeah. big man explosion awesome. slash best, best moves all ever. ever. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, Deppin is crafty. Deppin is small and wiry and, and can get himself out of some... Uh, Compromising situations and and getting himself into some compromising situations, such like as that that belly to belly suplex thing. Like taking that big belly to belly right you're there. Quite right, yes. And Whoa. a big two footed drop big kick. Big drop kick. Although yeah, even though we got John the Lewis. the really good height there, uh, you know with his placement of the feet, I think he hit him in the stomach. He did, which perhaps is what he was going for, as perhaps the maybe the he he too wanted to hit him at a forty five degree angle, <laughs> perhaps. Oh, and there's Mitch Devon with what I would say is the best drop kick I've ever seen him throw. I think you're quite right. And he's following up with those punches. Oh, there's a stomp. A classic foot stomp right there. And you know what? That's what Devon's going to have to do. He's going to stay on him because he doesn't have the size advantage. He doesn't have the weight. Stick and move, stick and move. Stick and move. And if he gets him down, jump jump on him. Like, Why wouldn't you? Use your whole body weight. Do whatever you have to do. You know, Deppin's known to do that kind of stuff. So why stop now? <laughs> nice little springboard back elbow there by Deppin. One thing that Deppin, you know, he doesn't have the size, he doesn't have the strength, he may not even have the agility. One thing he does have in, you know, his favor is he does have the crowd support. He is the hometown guy here, at, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Oh, for sure. Craig Young. He's is, the VCW guy. Yeah. The other guy's the evil outsider. That's how wrestling works. Exactly. One, two, three. Rana by I, Deppin. I thought Young was going to powerbomb him. He managed to get Hurricane Rana by, by Deppin and turn it into that ankle lock of his. And I don't know if we'll see it because Mitch Devin could well get a submission right here. But Craig Young also known for using that very same ankle lock. Does he really? Yes. Wow. It's, I guess we're going to see who can do it better. Oh, and there's a uh, variation of the Nagata lock there. That's, by a, very, that's a variation of something. That's, a, <laughs> that's, like, yeah. that's bordering on small joint manipulation right there. <laughs> we got something there. Now, would that be joint manipulation by a small guy as we're seeing here? Yeah, or, or perhaps in this situation, is it big joint manipulation? Or? <laughs> Those are some big joints on Craig Young. Oh, and that's a good way to break up a hold like that. Just wallop a guy. Club a man. I hear Craig Young clubbed a man in Rio just to watch him die. Wow. I wouldn't put it past him. He gets to the rope zone to break the hold. Devin's still tenacious with that ankle lock. Now I get him more central in the ring. Now here's the thing, you're doing an ankle lock to a guy who also does ankle locks. In theory, he's gonna know he's how to get out know, of ankle he's locks. Know some outs. Yeah, you'd think that. As you saw just there, but Young you, actually 
throwing Devin out of the ring by his own And, and I, I think it's too early to say now, but even if he doesn't finish the mount with the ankle lock, even if he can, you know, do some, some damage to the ankle, perhaps, you know, slow down Young, slow down, or, take or, away the vertical base. Or, or just take him out altogether, because the guy does like to fly. Are you going to be able to do a moonsault off a bum ankle? That's the thing. Off the top oh. row, huge plancha by a huge man. That is a big guy to be doing a plancha, but he hits it nonetheless. He's, you know, he came down hard on his ankle there. You know, that might do more damage. Oh, I don't know. Watch that. Maybe not the smartest idea. Oh my God. Something about. Oh. oh man, he just got killed. Oh no! Oh no! I. Oh. I don't think that hit him in the head. We're back in ring, and and now Craig Young has taken advantage of this match. After after that, <laughs> I don't I even think that was part of Craig's gameplay. I think that was for Craig a happy accident. And yeah, no. For Mitch Devon, perhaps the worst moment of his life, <laughs> as that ladder came crashing down on him. Perhaps the scariest moment of his life. Low clothesline there by Craig. Oh, but Devon actually rolls through it. He ain't taking it no more. And gets him into a front face lock. Use momentum to his advantage there. Suplex is the much bigger man. Don't discount Mitch Depp. Here you come. Coming off the ropes now. Oh, gets a boot cut. Throwing punches. Oh, he went for an enziguri and ended up. Oh, oh no! Oh. Hanging ankle lock. The oh, gravity is helping oh. Craig Young do his work. That's gotta hurt. Suspended only by his ankle. All all of his weight, and granted, it's not a ton of weight, but it's weight nonetheless. You know, being held by Young at the angle, twisted. Oh, That's man. just an uncomfortable situation, no no matter how you chalk it up. And a ground Fez press, was that? I believe that's what that was. Too close to the ropes, though, as Deppin wise enough to get a foot up. But Young now in control of the match. Size advantage playing its part. Sends him off the ropes. Ducks the line. Tilt a whirl. Nope. Oh, Ooh. side slam. Chase the late great Dino Bravo. And a, and a, a diving side slam, because uh, Craig actually went face first with it. Oh, somersault sent on. Big somersault. What's he oh. looking for here? Maybe a moonsault? Oh, standing moonsault by a 275 pound guy. You don't see that. I gotta say, that, that is one of the prettiest moonsaults I've seen by a guy that size. And now, here, as we talked about, Craig Young applying that ankle lock. Middle of the ring. Devin's gonna have to do some work to get out. Up to his feet. Oh, could he twist? Yeah. Maybe another Enziguri? At least the pressure of the angle. No. Oh, oh nice. small, package. Package. small package. Oh, only two. Nice little move there. And, and that's the thing. I like he got all of his weight on top of him for that pin. Most guys, you know, with a small package, you're just sort of holding him in, in place. But Oh, two count again. Again with that schoolboy. That, that's what Deppin's got to do. He's got to use what weight he has and, and try and pin the guy here. That's exactly what he's got to do. It's nice. nice to hold a guy that big down with the mic straw. That is the thing, but you know, a nice series of, of attempts, pinfall attempts by Deppin, and maybe he can catch him off guard. Use that speed, catch uh, Young off guard, and, and get the pin. Didn't there, but that's not to say it won't work at some point. Don't have to hold him down forever, just gotta hold him down for three seconds. That's true. Oh! Oh my god! You sock him? You him? Deppin just trying to lay it in. All its force. Craig, big overhand right, Whoa. Devin, right in the face. Oh, chop, now. chop. Oh, chop by Deppin. I don't, I don't know, you know, Deppin, for, for all we say about his size and strength and everything, he is in VCW, and <laughs> apparently they're not professional there, <laughs> so he's learned from the best, and, and he's going to, I wouldn't want to get into a, a chop fight with him if I'm Craig Young. No. No, oh. he's been around a lot of hard chops. In and life. I don't want to get... Oh, my was goodness. Was that a frog double knee drop? That was a double knee drop. I thought he was going to stomp him. Then I thought he was going to, you know, splash him. He and he met you halfway. Basically. <laughs> two. Oh, two count. Almost got it. And I'm a, almost a little surprised he did. That was full contact off the top rope there. Great move by Mitch Deppin. Now trying to string something together. Powerbomb him. Here he oh. comes. 
There's that Mercury Falls. That Jawbreaker, usually Whoa. followed by the deep end. Going that for STO. It. Whoa! Sends him all the way over. This could be it. Could I be a big win for Mitch Deppin on the last BCW show. I didn't think the little guy had it in him, but can he pin him here? <laughs> there it is! <laughs> they, they did it. Two. Oh! Only two. Just barely kicks out. Now we're up here playing on the top rope. Oh. Devin looking for a top rope deep end. This will certainly do it. Oh. And he hits it. Just got to get on for the pin, and that's going to be one, two, three on the big man. And one thing we haven't brought up is, you know, we're in the dead of July. I'm, I'm surprised these guys have been able to wrestle for so long because it is hot. It is humid. It, it's killer out there. It is. It is. Uh, we're looking at the low to mid 30s centigrade. In terms of temperature, we're looking at 80 to 100 percent humidity. Come on now. It is hot, sticky, and sweaty in there. Makes the cover. One, two. Oh, foot on the rope. Took just a little too long after that top rope deep end. If he had got on him right away, that would have been it. Now what's he got to do? I, what does Deppin do? Just go back to the ankle lock? Does he try and hit him with, you know, an, another high-impact move? He's certainly done some damage on that ankle. Might be worth reinvestigating. What's uh, Craig got here looking for a brain buster type maneuver? He's got him up. Stalling suplex now. Wow, impressive. Oh, oh what do I mean? Brain that buster. That was a brain buster and a half. And I like what Craig did there. You know, he walked with them and he perfectly that big man explosion. Let's, I mean, that's, that's what he's going to go for. Looking for. Can he hit? Oh, maybe not. Now I'm confused because where I come from, you do a moonsault from the other direction. I don't you know. Can't what do a front facing moonsault. I don't know what he's sure. got. Oh. Here comes Devin there. You could bring him down with the with you could bring him down with the Mercury Falls off the top. Go for a superplex maybe. Oh. Craig fights him off though. And Devin Chrome, but what's Craig gonna do? He can't do a moonsault from this position. Or oh. can he? 180 into the moonsault. One, two, three, and he gets him. Craig Young with the win. Craig Young takes first blood in this uh, three-man round robin to start things off here at VCW's last show ever. If Craig Young can beat Psych, he wins the round robin without the last match even happening. And how much would that suck if the uh, the one American, you know, in the round robin comes in and wins on VCW's last show? Yeah, that's not what, that's not what this is supposed to be about. Flipping off the man he just defeated. No sportsmanship. Oh, Deppin wants a handshake. Or Devin does he? Low blow. What? What? Yeah. Oh, body slam. Body slam. The 270 plus pound man. And that's why I like to see, you know, Deppin getting, you know, some revenge after, you Definitely know. Definitely a measure of revenge for Mitch Deppin. Crowd solidly behind it. Gotta love that. Nice hand for Zeus McFly. You're probably thinking I'd come here and just like leave it all in the ring and commit fucking suicide and you know bleed everywhere. And uh, I got a surprise for you. I'm gonna do something special for you guys today. I'm actually gonna fucking wrestle. How about what? this? Whoa! No fucking crawling on the floor. I'm gonna show. I'm, tra I'm a trained professional wrestler. I was taught by wrestlers. <laughs> think that's what people have come to see from Zeus McFly. Nobody wants to see him. I wrestle. do not know if that's what people were expecting. Here, as we are back on BCW's last show ever, here's and Rigger goes. Rigger on the he mic. wants the microphone.
Pork or Quillum. Pork or Quillum. It's a big day here. Well, in the States, it's a holiday, and I'm missing out because I'm here. Yeah. But in the States, it's nationally, you are what you eat, baby. Since I'm in Canada, I only see one pussy in this fucking ring. Oh! shot Zeus can pack a punch. So this Mufai has knocked out the likes of most of the big seven rosters. Knocked out Yaks and Jay in a title match. <laughs> Zeus Mufai offering a free hammerlock. I don't even know what I'm seeing here. Those are some big smacks in the face. Waist lock. Take that by Zeus Mufai. Maybe he can wrestle. Uh, well, where has this been for the last how many years? As he said. Look at that! Wow, that was a nice little bit. It's, it's keeping on the hammerlock. Great stuff by McFly here. Well, I think everybody, including Rickers, a little bit surprised here. I think as a lot of people forgot, as uh, or never knew, as McFly pointed out, he's a trained professional wrestler. I don't know. Is he? Was he telling falsehoods there? Is that true? That is a that is a truth hood. Wow. I'm wearing my truth hood right now. I can I can tell. I like it by the way. And a, a two count here, and I mean, wouldn't you think the last show we'd see Zeus McFly, as he said, leave it all on the line? Well, I can I can almost appreciate where McFly is coming from, especially from what he said and the way he said it. He said, "I don't want to spend the night in the hospital." This is Feastin' last show. He probably wants to go out and have a oh, good. Oh, oh, he oh just God. got punched in the face. He might be spending the night in the hospital against his will. There's another one. <laughs> but yeah, I think he wants to have a good time after tonight's show and not. As he said, be in the hospital. Where are you going? up to the top rope now, barefoot. Whoa, whoa. Beautiful. Whoa, nice hurricane rana. Flying hurricane rana. Snapmare now. Zeus the fly, house of fire. One. Oh, shit. Zeus has uh, got rigor on his heels here a little bit. Irish whip reversed into the ropes. Ducks the clothesline. Off the ropes. Ducks the backhand. In, around. And a very nice head scissors takedown. Fine head scissors. Rigger sat out of the ring, doesn't know what hit him. Zeus didn't even have to wall him with a chair or staple his nuts to a stack of paper. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd really getting behind it. Look at, is Zeus going to oblige and go to the outside? No, he's, he's opening the ropes. He's inviting him back. Come on back the in. Ring. He said he wasn't going to brawl on the outside. He said he wants to have he a nice, to have a nice, nice clean match in the ring. Now, while I, while I said I appreciate where McFly is coming from, I also appreciate where Rigger is coming from. Well, yeah, he's flowing a long way from Tennessee to Vancouver. He wants to, you know, if he he came to the last show for the idea of being able to kind of have a match that lives in infamy. The last Zeus brawl. Exactly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> 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 feeling this might have just been her. I may be ugly. That's true, this is Zeus's special day, and everyone in BCW's special day. Rigger's just a visitor. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> That's one way to draw Zeus to the outside. Look at those blows! And like we said, Rigger came here. When you're told in advance that your opponent on this big show is Zeus McFly, you prepare yourself for a certain kind of match. Yeah. And you, you know what you're getting into. And then Zeus, you know, Zeus pulls this, basically, and, and throws your way off. What is this? Oh, he's going to no. powerbomb one of those open chairs. And Zeus Utsum. kicks him. Oh, Asai Moonsaw barely gets over, but recovers. 
I think the important thing in that collision was Look how many people are in the crowd! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, tease! And sends it back in as promised. Excellent ring entry. One, two, kick out. Two count. Irish whip now into the ropes. Up and over. Barely gets over on Leapfrog. Oh, doesn't the second time. No. And caught. Oh, big, nasty air raid crash. Nice move by Rigger. Very nice. And then nonchalant cover, though. No leg hook, just kind of leaning back on the guy. That's not going to get it done, even That's after a never like that air raid crash. Not with a guy like Zeus McFly. I, no. I don't think I could ever even in my uh, wildest dreams imagine him being pinned like that. I try not to imagine Zeus McFly in yeah. my wildest dreams. Yeah, Big fly European uppercut, though. Almost lands on him. Two. Two count. Irish whip Off here. Off the ropes. Back, body, up and over. No. Lands on his feet on the apron. Oh, oh no! He kicked him right in the face. And he's just slumped against. <laughs> oh, and he la I think he hit his. I think he hit his ankle on the ring frame on the way down. All bad things are going on in Zeus McFly's life right now. now what's Rigger gonna do? He's on the outside there. Look at the size of that crowd. Pretty good, right? <laughs> it is good. Rigger, you big shit! You're lucky I have a phobia of stairs where I come up there and kick your ass. I don't know how that fan got that ticket. Like he's got an interesting seat. <laughs> it's a good ticket. We were at capacity. Stand, standing room only. The fire marshal placed him there. Yeah. Oh, look at... Listen to those shots. Way in those shots. It, oh! Uh, head first. Is, is Zeus cut? I saw blood. Oh, my... Oh, man! You're, you're bleeding. Right at the eye. Looks like he's trying to... Break his eye socket. Where are they going now? This is while it is Zeus McFly's territory, not what he wanted today. He might not be mentally prepared for a match. Oh, oh into the palace. Head first into the hard wood. Oh, oh it just <laughs> bowls through a stack of water and he bottles. He is indeed cut Ooh, open. Quite a bit, in fact. Looks like it's the side of his face. Oh, those things pack a wall. That's that heavy, heavy pa plastic. Those pack a wall up. Oh, oh, right on top of the head. No give. I mean, those are meant to hold and contain you know, 24 gallons of water, I believe it is. I mean, those have to be up to, to a large amount of water. That is really a lot. I, don't, I think don't, it's a lot more. I think it's a lot less than 24 gallons. Yeah, uh, I was going to say. It's, those, a, it's a patent they must wrestling really, they over exaggeration. Must, they must really compress that water to get all 24 gallons in there. Now, this is... Where the hell are they? That's a forklift. A forklift. Children on top of it. Uh, apparently, yeah, they got some interesting tickets. Again, limited seating. Look at these shots they're exchanging. Is this gonna drive that thing? Just can't drive. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Standing on top of the portal with now. <laughs> Measuring him. Sizing. Oh, oh another might have been back. Low. Oh no! Oh, oh my man! Goodness. Tossed onto those chairs. Onto the hard wood chairs. Zeus still bleeding from his face. Just turning into the opposite of what Zeus and Five wanted for his last BCW match. Given the way it started, it, it looked like we wouldn't even see this type of action. Shoves him into the rope. There's John Walters. Rigger known for that. Also known for that flying John Walters up the second rope, the Taliban backpack. I don't know if that's a politically correct name. I don't know if we should be saying that. I think if I say that, I get put on some kind of watch list. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Great. <laughs> At least have my voice. Rigger now. Rigger in control. Yeah, firmly in control. Draped over top one, two, only two. Tried to, out. tried to pick him up, saw that he couldn't, so thought, why not pin him? You know, you, sometimes I forget Zeus wrestles barefoot. Look yeah. at the the the, his, the bottom of his feet. <laughs> what the hell? Looks like an orphan beggar in the 30s. <laughs> Shiny shoes for a nickel, governor. What are you going to do? Kill it! 
Oh. oh. That, that's his nipple ring. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Uh, oh, no! You can't do that. That's, that's not right. That's going to take nipple with it. That's not right. Oh, Zeus resorting to his old tricks. Oh, well, it, Rigger wanted it. He's getting it. You wanted it. You got it. You just got it. It might be the best or the worst of Zeus McFly, depending on what uh, way you want to look at it. You just get your nip ripped off. And uh, there's a look there's at that. the ring. Oh, the blood smearing away Ugh. as it's being pulled off the map. The mat, rather. rather. That is wow. unpleasant. Can you imagine the pain that, he, that Rigger is feeling right now? I, I can't, because I've never experienced anything close to it. I think the referee is even starting to get a little sick to his stomach. Is this chopping him in it? Oh, oh, oh. don't bite it! Oh. Good puke. Oh. oh, this is not for the faint of heart. This is this is getting pretty gruesome now. Not for the faint of heart or faint of butt. No, what's he doing now? Oh, oh keyed right in on that nipple and just slapped it. What is it? What? Was he working up some? Oh, oh this is. Un I, I don't even want to commentate this. No, <laughs> shut it down. <laughs> Get, oh, do you remember how dirty his yes, feet were? Yes, I do. Just smeared I do. on there. Oh, oh the virtual fighter head first onto it. Oh, this, this match is taking an ugly turn. Wow, this is uh, this match has gone from being a match that looked like it might be real technical. It was aiming to be a technical yep. masterpiece it on the was. part of Zeus McFly. No, less. oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. And we're going for the camel clutch. He has one uh -oh. match with this. And watch for the spit in the this mouth. This could be it. No, he's polite enough not to spit on the on the last show. Really? He just ripped a man's <laughs> nipple ring out. You think he's going to be polite you enough? You raise a fair point. Got him by the waist. O'Connor roll all the way over. Back into the camel clutch. Beautiful. Oh, spit right in his mouth. You were right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's still working on that nip. And I do mean nipple, not a Japanese person. Thank oh, you but clarify. <laughs> Rigger gets out, and his own O'Connor roll slides because of the sweat on the ring into a Cobra Clutch. That's the rigmarole, he likes to call it. That Cobra Clutch version of the Chaos Theory nailed it on McFly. McFly is in a heap of trouble right now. And the referee's going to execute the 10 count here. Let's see if either man can make their way up or we'll have a double knockout finish to this one. Very well could. Rigger seems to be the first. One, two. two. Oh. Two count only after the rigmarole, one of his highest impact maneuvers. I cannot believe we saw a man have his oh, jewelry ripped out of his body. I mean, I, <laughs> is there anything we won't see? Powerbomb. Oh, no. Oh, oh! And McFly actually got his head up into the nether regions of That's rigor mortis. Politely. And now a headbutt. Big headbutt. Maybe the hardest skull in VCW. I'd say so. Go for his own powerbomb. Gets the big tall man up and drops him down in the powerbomb. On him for the pin. One, two. Two, two. only. Does Zeus have left in store here for Rigger? Zeus at the very least in control right now. Thinking of his next move. Standing him back up. For that abdominizer. Oh, just got punched right in the face. Right in the head, right where he's still bleeding. He is. Let's not forget about yeah, that. let's not forget about the cut. Oh, that was a punch. Whoa! And just with Fly, known for having one of the best punches in BCW. Might be meeting his match with one of the best punches in the state of Tennessee. And Maybe one not. punch from Zeus McFly drops Takes him. him down. Drags him over. Center of the ring. Just a two. But McFly is still doing his best to maintain control. This is like watching a barroom brawl here. 
I mean, just two guys, the toughest guy at the end of each <laughs> side of the bar, just throwing everything that he got at in the at the other guy. And one thing I gotta say, Rick Morris, oh, oh, big European uppercut. Rigger got himself in some very good shape for this match. Check yourself out a copy of Backyard Fest Five, and uh, you will see a much chunkier Rigor Mortis. Rigor is lean and mean for this match. Yeah, he doesn't look uh, that out of shape at all. He looks in really good shape here. I think As does Rigor, Rigor, though. Yes, he does. Rigor missed that high kick. Here's the abdominizer. Dropped him, almost ran with it, and dropped him on his neck. Just a two. Rigor Mortis kicked out of the abdominizer. Let's put a few men away in, in his day. Certainly has. Crowd getting behind this match. Crowd is behind Zeus McFly right now. Look at this. Against piece. evil foreigner, Rigor Mortis. Surprised we haven't heard a... Uh, oh, no. Oh! Oh, uh. look at that suplex. Unbelievable. The height on that and the landing by McFly. Full Nelson into a suplex that landed Zeus McFly right on the crown of his head. That was dirty. Now can Rigger uh, get back up to his feet to take advantage? Rigger looking to throw something together big here. He's back up first. Get a win on this grand stage. Look at him glare at Zeus. Oh, go for that big high kick. Punch right in the face. One, two, three. three. Zeus McFly, your winner via punch in the face. What better way? Have a nice knuckle sandwich, Rigger. Wash it down with a side of potato salad. Took out the referee, <laughs> but they're they're on good terms there. Yeah. Second match in this uh, round robin between Psych, Mitch Deppin, and BXCW's Craig Young, who uh, is the only one in this match who already has a match with the belt. It was a good 15 minute long match. So let's see if you know that's going to affect him here. I was Psych. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was wondering what kind of stamina he'd have against a much quicker opponent like Psych. And that's the thing. Psych is known to just take his matches just to the limit right off the bat. And you know, will Young be able to keep up that pace? Look at this exchange of strikes to start the match. Whoa! That was some Chow Young fat shit right there. I think that Psyche saw the strike coming and delivered a nice little kick, like a, like a, like a almost like a roundhouse kick. Yeah, it was it was something. He's got him in a headlock now and throwing knees from a headlock. How many guys have you seen that can do stuff like that? Oh, not many, if any. Big oh, spine buster. Spine buster, and that, that is where Young is going to really benefit from trying to slow the match down. His power. Big power moves. Oh, look, look at him here, trying to match the, you know, the high flying. And a standing moonsault. One, two. And I would imagine that that's taken the life out of Psych, but, well, no, I guess wrong. Oh, oh. big title crush. That cartwheel into a backflip, into a kick. Oh, and follows it up with a drop kick. Sorry. Psych, this is where Psych can really start to take advantage here. He can really roll, and he's, his speed is going to be his advantage here. Dragging his opponent back into the corner by the collar of his shirt. What a kick. And you can already see the sweat on Young. You know, he's, yeah, exactly. he's, he's feeling it. I, I don't know if this is even really fair. How did... Whoa! Referee taken out in that collision. That's the second time the referee's gotten in the way. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and this time for the worst. Yeah, because exactly. Because he's, he's actually out now. And what are we going to see happen here? Wow, what's Young going to get? No, he's going... F a a sled sledgehammer! sledgehammer. A sledgehammer being brought into the ring. The referee is down. Oh no! Th not like this. Oh, oh you gotta be kidding me! Just 
blasts him in the face with that. And now he's going to pick up a cheap victory and win this round robin Aww. if the referee can get up. Yeah, that's one point we haven't touched upon. If, if Craig Young wins this match, I mean, there's no need for the third match. He wins. But Psych getting up despite tasting that sledgehammer right in the face. I mean, the referee didn't even get up to make a count. That's how out he is. Power bomb. Oh! oh! Into a big face buster. He actually took him up into that power bomb like hold, flipped him, and caught him into the face buster. Unbelievable. That's impressive. Here's One, the three. Two. Wow. Only two. Two and a half. I'm surprised. But I mean, we're only how long did this match? Three minutes. I mean, Psych is still pretty fresh, so. It's interesting, Young going for the big moves early. I mean, he obviously doesn't want to have a long match. He already had a long match. Exactly. Oh, there's a super kick right to the face. And now that might neutralize Young here enough that Psych can go to the top for one of those patented high-risk maneuvers. Maybe a shooting star press. He's known to do that sometimes. Maybe a 450 to the top. Yes, a shooting star perfectly executed. Could that be it? One, two, three wow. it is. Quick match, and, and obviously that earlier match of Young took enough out of him that Psych was able to get the quick win, and, and we'll see what happens later on in this round robin. the BCW Canadian champion. Yeah, the thriller himself, apparently. Ooh, no, he, uh, defending so champion, he, you know, won the title for the first time, I don't know, seven years before this? Something along those lines, and these guys, whoa! Oh! Hmm. Wow! Both these guys known to have fast and furious matches. Oh, and stunner! It starts with a stunner. <laughs> uh, whoa! <laughs> right out of the game. And now they've tied up. <laughs> Colored elbow tie up. Following the stunner. Oh, backflips out. Throws a line. And as I was going to say, these guys known for fast and furious matches. If a match is over five minutes between these two, you know something's wrong. <laughs> oh, duck down, low blow, punch right to the, I believe the nether region. And you know it's the last show, the referee's gonna turn the other way yeah, as, he's as turning, you see. Yeah, turning and, the other cheek. And he's uh, gonna let these guys go at it. Oh! Uh, I think that might have been one I received. Oh! Up! Oh! oh <laughs> huge cutter! Wow. Both these guys have a lot of real explosive, you know, strength between the two of them. Oh! And there's a return from Lenny D. He actually blocked a line there and swung him a full 360 degrees around. That's how strong he is. Lenny D now backing Chris Mason into the corner. Elbows. Irish whip calling for the knees. He likes to call that the Puerto Rican face fuck. There's that patented scream of Lenny D, and oh, could it be the Cactus Clothesline? It is! Oh! oh that oh. move, you never land nicely on that No. Move. Regardless if you're taking it or giving it, you're, you're getting hurt. I've seen guys smash their shin bones in taking that move. Smash them in? Yes. <laughs> wow. The guy taking the move, his shin got smashed on the apron. Oh! 
Lenny D was going to dive there. That's not something he usually does, no. in, but Mason caught him. He should have went for something new in the last day. And now Mason to the yeah. apron. Oh, into a face buster. Slingshots in with that face buster. It's a good way to catch a guy off guard. It is. I mean, how how much longer can these guys sustain this pace? I don't know. They're I mean, they're taking moves. They're giving moves. They're just stop. Yeah. I think they're just letting like adrenaline do the trick. You know, they're they're feeling pain, but up and just, over with an elbow. They're just fighting right through it. Both guys down now. Lenny favoring his uh, left leg. It looks like. I think that was from hitting the rope. He, he states he hasn't done that move in quite some time. So. Oh, here comes a backflip. Oh! <laughs> Huge spike. Whoa! An exchange of Michinoko drivers. And... Somersault. Moonsault. Cover. One, two. Oh, and here's that adrenaline Whoa. I was oh. talking about. Holy Holds cow. on. Wow. Oh my goodness. Lenny a press D. slam. Wow. <laughs> Maybe the strongest guy in VCW history. Mother effing bump. And just gets kicked in the face by Mason. <laughs> Unbelievable. What did I say? Both these guys known for their five minute miracles. If the match goes over five minutes, something went wrong. Doctor! They like to get their matches over and done with. <laughs> oh, spinning Doctor Bomb. That takes a lot of strength to it do. It does. And then you know a small man. So that shows the strength there of Chris Mason. Oh! Flying armbar, that's one thing. Lenny's got the jiu-jitsu experience. And, and he's tapping he gets out. It. He gets it. New Canadian champion, Lenny D? Unbelievable! On, on the last show. Wow. I am speechless, and here's what <laughs> Nice hands. dance. New and final Canadian champion, Lenny D. Wear your belt. <laughs> okay, so I can't give my opponent to show up because he's a little goof. So, I just got to... Did you say I've been to jail, but I know what it means. <laughs> Alright, so I beat the shit out of that little tiny dude up in the back. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. You got no opponent? No, no opponent. Oh, shit. So, uh, let's see, last show, opponent didn't show up. Based on the fat guy, beat him pretty quickly. Yeah. Beat up the skinny kid. What's left? What's left? Who's going to take the match? I mean, it's the last show. You I think someone would be willing to face Psych. Sense. I think he may, and if I recognize that music, I don't, do you recognize the music? I, don't, I, don't, you, I, I recognize, finished, what, I recognize what song it is. <laughs> yeah. Is, is MJ gonna? Yeah. I don't know if I recognize oh, who it belongs to. No, I, oh, I, you should now, because he's walking to the ring, and it's Chris Mason. Chris Mason. I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you in a minute. I'm taking over. <laughs> Glad, glad to have you back. We got Chris Mason and Psych in a bit of an impromptu match. These guys have faced each other, I don't know, too many times. So why not on the last show? Well, last show, leave it all on the table. Probably leave the fans wishing there was going to be one more match between these two. That's a good possibility. This 
so jeans. How did they do that? Be tough to move in the ring. I'm not a wrestler, though. I'm just a commentator. What do I know? Did in fact just wrestle Lenny D. Yeah, exactly. Hard hitting match, only about four minutes long, but it was you know it was like a twenty minute match packed into four minutes. <laughs> it really was. A handshake and a hug. Whoa! Oh! Is that like a belly to belly backbreaker? Into the ropes. You know what I expected more from these guys? Oh, spinning! Mitch Noka driver kicked out at one. Wow. Sykes like clutching his neck. Oh, takes a shot to the face. You know, he is clutching his neck, but that's the thing. Sykes only had one match. It was three minutes. Really wasn't that hard. Oh, he was going for that title crush. Vertebraker, possibly? Nope. I believe he held onto the ropes and managed to swing himself onto the top rope. That's impressive. Quickly bounces himself out. Whoa! Somersault into a Hurricane Rana. Yeah, Dragon Rana. Not the smoothest one I've ever seen, but effective nonetheless. Your head gets driven down in the canvas. It really doesn't matter how smooth it looks. I this guess. is true. I guess it really doesn't matter how pretty it is. Back to the top, a uh, shooting star that finished his opponent Craig Young earlier. Two. Oh, doesn't finish Mason here though. And a big shot. Oh, oh. kick caught. Flips him up. Oh, catches him with that DDT. He likes to call that one the white boy maneuver. And now perhaps we see Chris Mason fly. Oh, he likes to do shooting star presses too. We can see one of those. And we do. Oh. Will that be enough? One, two. Oh. No, it will not. Not quite. Both men hitting huge shooting, shooting star presses at this point. Neither men being able to put the other away. In the corner, Irish whip. Here comes Mason, follows up with a shoulder tackle. A couple more, backflip. Whoa, Sykes tried to get up. Oh, spins around. What is this? Into wow. a sidewalk slam. And like we said, these guys know each other really well. I mean, that series of reversals is evident. And just a two count. Yeah, you're right. It's like one another. These guys, you know, they've wrestled each other so much. This is their third match this month. Elbows, two of them. How do you even defeat a guy who, you know, you just had so many matches with? Whoa. Looks like a chokehold into a suplex. Yeah, sleeper suplex. And now a moonsault. Barely made contact there. Oh, <laughs> barely made contact enough of the arm. Mason's feeling it. The head connecting with the shoulder. The, head, the head is hard. It is. Up. Has him. Wow. Hits it. One, two. And I like that he got the feet up on the on the shoulders. You know, that's uh, a better way to secure the pin. I mean, some guys just sort of lay out, sit there. Hey, I'm pinning the guy. But, you know, put your legs over the shoulders. Whoa! Both men go inside out. Both going for clotheslines, I guess. And, and yeah, wow. And I, now the referee's going to execute the standing 10 count. I don't know who got the worst of that. I have literally no idea. I think it's pretty tough to say whether or not one man got the worst of it. I think they're both... Worst for wear now. Fair enough. The first guy to get up, likely, and there's a nice shot of the big crowd in attendance here. The first guy to get up is going to be the, the guy that's going to win this match because he'll have the advantage of getting to his feet first. I would imagine that that's how things will play out. At this point in the match, both guys are tired. You know, Mason probably more so than Syke, but... Oh! Or, or just neither guy gets up! Co-winners. Co-losers. I've never heard it referred to as that. I Co-winners. Hmm. They seem okay with this. Really? Yeah. I'm not so sure how I feel about this. Just, uh, uh, <laughs> last, last VCW show, man. I got my own fish to fry, but you have a chance to be the last VCW Triple Crown Champion ever. That, that's happening. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care if I have to hit Drusen with the belt, or I can give him a trample keeper on the floor, or we can give him a double team. I don't know. You are walking out of here with those belts, and I'm going to help you. We're going to do it. You know, Dan, I, I really appreciate that. I do. But I'm doing this my way. Okay? I'm scared of By myself.
Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada, weighing in tonight at 176 pounds. He is the 2007 Survival of the Hills winner, two-time BCW Canadian champion, former ESW World Heavyweight champion, and former BCW Triple Crown champion. Special! That was a mouthful. It's a good list of achievements. Not quite as long. But really, all that matters is he's the champion currently. I mean, right now. Yeah. So, uh, right now, that's, that's one of the most important parts. Really, that's all that matters now, isn't it? I think it is. I want you to check him again, especially down there, because it looks like he's smuggling us now. There's got to be grass knocks or something down there. I want you to check. Whoa, and we're going. Sarian trying to take advantage of the referee checking out Special K. Oh. Hey, look, there's a lot of people there. Not a lot of people there. Huge Tobey from the through the middle and bottom rope. As you heard in the introductions, this is your VCW Triple Crown title match. Your last. Yeah, the last one. VCW Triple Crown title match. Not your main event tonight. Main event any other night, any other place, any other time. But tonight, uh, first match in part two, I believe, of this two-part show. Oh, oh misses a big Pescado there. I'll tell you what, folks. I'm jazzed up. We had a break between part one and two. Went out, got me some breakfast for dinner. Had a waffle. Yep. Feeling good. Quite a, quite a break. Probably a month, months, or years. They don't know that watching this. Well. This is all done in one day. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. How oh. about that? My goodness. Cut off a tope with a stunner. Proof that Special K should stick to the lower rope tope. Kind of and not the middle rope. Harder to to uh, not harder to harder to stun someone, topeing from the lower trajectory. You got the downward angle. Yes. It's a lot harder to do. Yeah. But unless you were maybe crouching. Yeah. But Sarian was ready for that one. Yeah, that could be it. Maybe a little too early for, not. for it to be it. I don't know. We've had some short matches on this show. There have been some short matches. There have been some long matches. Some matches that went longer than they should have. We're not naming names. Nope. Oh, Kane-esque dropkick by Sarian. Kane-esque. Mm-hmm. Let's see what Sarian can do here. He's going to go to work. Sarian's the champ. He's been so for just about exactly one month. Four weeks, if you will. Huh. Wow. It's quite the innovative stomach breaker. Quite. Sarian defeating Zeus McFly back in late June of 2009 to win his first uh, VCW Triple Crown after what was uh, Zeus McFly's first Triple Crown. What do you think about that? I don't know. Oh, it's something. Yeah. <laughs> In order to win it, uh, Sarian resorted to some rather uh, unseemly tactics. Like soup bones? Not like soup bones. Soup bones are, I would call them seemly, okay. <laughs> more so than unseemly. But, uh, no, I believe he, he, uh, he brought the title belt into play, used it illegally as a foreign object, and ever since then has done, uh, done very like things in order to, to keep the title. And basically turning, uh, turning on the B70 fans, not, uh, not caring so much about them, only caring about himself and the title. Yep. Yeah, the spiel what we missed was uh, Sarian... Avoiding a, uh, a shoulder tackle by K, and K went crashing shoulder first into that post. Yeah, really he hard. hit hard there. Hopefully, he can rebound from that. But I, if I'm a betting man, I would say that uh, Sarian's going to go to work on that shoulder. Or is that the shoulder? Stomp him in the midsection. I don't know. He might have a he might have a wandering shoulder. It's possible. 
maybe you're just gonna beat him up all over. Beat a, you know, if you hurt every body part of guys, guy, he's probably not gonna kick out. If you break his arms and his legs, he's probably not gonna fight back too much. You're probably gonna win. Big chop in the corner, shaking of the hand after that. Felt it himself. Sometimes you hit a guy so hard with one of those chops that it actually does in fact hurt your hand. Very true, and if it hurts your hand, you can only imagine how much it hurts the guy taking it. Not necessarily as much. What? Huh? What, are, what have you done? I don't know. Oh, he was going for a stunner. Oh, Ooh, catches him. Bounce off the corner. Case, splish splash. Oklahoma Stampede. Two count. K with some offense finally. And here's the thing. Sarini took too long, got too cocky, you know, flipped him the bird, went for that stunner. Went for the stunner and then uh, then almost looked like he was going for a Shiranu or sliced bread out of the uh, corner there. But uh, K stopped him in his tracks with the Oklahoma Stampede. Although, well, in the time it took us to, to explain, to explain uh, that, Sarian back on top. Using some of those underhanded tactics we were discussing exactly. at the beginning of the match. Standing on him in the middle rope. I think this is the one and only time Syrian wore these shorts, but they're cool looking shorts. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Is there a geodesic dome on them? Or? <laughs> Could well be. Possibly a biodome? We got a we got a Polish Shore and a Baldwin brother in there? Yes. Steven? Billy? Steven. Ladies and gentlemen, I implore you. Go to RestoreStevenBaldwin.com. Only you can help. Oh, no, and please also please go to RestoreTheWall. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> dot com, because Special K just ruined it. I wonder if that hole's still there. I'm going to say yeah. Should I have said that? <laughs> who, who gives a shit? Good point. The last show in the building. You're going to go for it if you smash a hole in the wall? So be it. Yep. Not like other people have to use it. No. No. Why? Because fuck them. That's why. That was, in fact, Special K's head that made the hole in the wall. Yep. Should be pointed out. The man put a hole in the wall with his head. Snapmares him over quickly. And Sarah Brav's going to work on that very head. That very head. Not one of the other heads that he could have gone to no, work on. Not one the of them. same one. Well, I can think of another head he could go hey to work now. on. Hey, okay. Crowd, possibly the biggest biggest BCW crowd ever, getting behind Special K. I would say without a doubt the biggest BCW crowd ever. That's a good one. That's kind of crazy, actually. Oh, for the boot. boot. Oh, big spin kick. Goes down and, whoa, whoa, tosses him all the way over. Turns him inside out with the German. Release German suplex. Huge. Two natives of Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada. And by that, I only mean they were born there. They are not of native blood. And thank goodness for that. I didn't really know where I was going with the end of that I sentence. I apologize. I'm going to leave you on your own on not that one. Not going to bail me out no, on that one? Definitely thank you not. you very much. You made your own bed. You may lie in it. Oh, I will. Probably. Drusarian might want to be laying down in a bed after some of those Probably kicks. with my scalp removed and a tomahawk in my back. Am I helping my cause right now? Definitely not. No! Snap suplex. Knee drop. Nice combo there. Special K looking to get the title back that he lost back at uh, BCW versus the World 6. 2 1 Stephen Farrell of Merry Old England. Sure it wasn't BCW versus the World 7? So that, is that a common. 6 or 7. Yeah, it was 6. Subtitle 7. Ah, yes. Threw a lot of people off. And rightfully so, because it was very confusing. Kind of didn't make much sense. But, you know. Well, I don't know. Like, VCW versus the World 2 was to a lesser extent. And uh, 4 was... Uh, what was Reels. Four? Reels. 
five was fuck the world. Yes. And six and was uh, you know he said we versus the world six colon. He said we versus the world seven. That was the subtitle. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That makes sense. If oh. you don't think about it too much. Farm Got him up. Death Valley Driver. Big Death Valley Driver. A uh, fairly recent addition to uh, Special K's moveset here. Using it uh, pretty effectively, though. Quite. He's been studying his Louis Piccoli and uh, Etsuko Mita tapes. Yes. Making as obscure but correct references to the Death of the Driver as I can. Yeah, probably the first you know the first person to use it and then the first person to use it in North America. Yeah. Yeah. Good on you. Thank you. Every now and then I'll have something interesting, or at least loud. <laughs> Up and over the corner now. And he's wobbling, and oh. all the way down to That's the floor. A that hard landing. is a nasty spill. It's a big shirtless man in the front row. <laughs> yes, sir. What's going on? Can get behind that. Is he getting a microphone, or is he getting a chair? Looks like he's getting equipment. He's getting something. He's got a yep. chair. Setting up a plastic lawn chair type thing. Hmm. Not sure. Not a commonly used type of chair in the uh, in this wrestling business. Slaps him in it, sets him up. Oh, he's gonna. He's setting him up. He's. Ooh. He's gonna give him a big old boot. Is he gonna boot him right out of his boots? Oh, oh gets caught. Caught. Trouble now. Fights back. Boots him. Turns him around. Whoa. What? Whoa, Big Dave bomb. No way. Not the Big Dave. Oh, that is 1,001 ways to demolish a chair. With your back. Holy shit. Huh. Hmm. We must have a winner. Get back in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Referee not going to count them out. Oh, he's, he's going to send him to the post office? Wow, oh, a scathing comment from a fan. Oh, uh, stamping his letter to the post office now. Whips him, reverse. Whoa! Oh, that couldn't have gone worse. Return to sender is right. For one Andrew Sarian. And, I mean, lucky for Special K, he bought himself a few minutes. Uh, hopefully he can get back up after that. He might have bought himself a lifetime. Bomb. I think Drew Sarian might be dead. That was horrific. Went flying face first into the post and then took this huge spill on the floor afterwards. Yeah, I don't know what was worse, the post or the fall on the concrete floor. Both just terrible, terrible things to happen to the human body. EMTs are being called in. Two. Three. Ref is administering a count now. Special K up to his feet. Drusarian not. Twelve. Eighteen. This at twelve. Special K looks nope. like he will be making it in. Now what happens if, if K gets in and Sarian doesn't? He, he doesn't win the title. Uh, no, K would win by count out, but uh, Drew Sarian would uh, remain your BCW Triple Crown champion. That'd be kind of a lousy finish for this show. Don't Probably you think? a lousy finish. Probably should have agreed on some sort of no count out, no DQ situation. We could have a winner. Obviously. Yeah, no kidding. Thought was not put into this. And he makes oh, it, nice beating the oh, count oh, in. Whoa, whoa. He, he beat the count, that's Barely. one thing, but I don't know if you notice, he is, Sarian is bleeding. He is whoa. not looking good in the facial region. Now, does he ever really look good in the facial oh, region? Oh, come oh, I'm on. Sorry. Don't be that guy. That was mean. <laughs> Pops him right in the forehead, maybe trying to bust open Special K now. Exchanging shots right to the forehead. There's a headbutt. I don't know if I'd be headbutting people if my forehead was... Oh, holy cow. If my forehead was busted open because I fear I would bleed more. Oh, arm drag drags him over. Whip. Goes for a super kick. Duck. Goes under it. Big one-footed drop Whoa, kick. and Sansarian flying. The momentum behind that drop kick. 
This pressure K all of a sudden is looking pretty good here. Not looking too bad. It's gonna get some get some momentum going. Looking to join a fairly short list of two-time Triple Crown champions. Maybe four or five people on that list. Maybe fewer than that. I would say I would I th I think four. He would be number five. He would be five. I could probably guess who the other four are. Go for it. No, I'm not going to. It's, it's not a secret. No, it's, the <laughs> obvious, it's the obvious answer, though, is it not? Is it? I think it's the four horsemen. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Scott Hansen. Whoa! Daniel, Scott Hansen, Daniel McCabe, Yakuza J, and Lenny D, I believe, off the top of my head, are the only other multi-time Triple Crown champions. We may not see that Shot after all, however, we because... We may not. Due to some tactics, uh -oh. nasty tactics. Whoa! Horizontal stunner. Oh, and nails him. Wow. Dirty. There's no nice way to land on that. No, your jaw's getting rocked no matter what. And Syrian is bleeding profusely. Oh, only a two, though. Two. These two know each other well. They actually had a couple matches against each other earlier in the year when uh, Special K was Triple Crown champion and Syrian was... Canadian champion. They actually went one and one against each other oh. and retained each other's titles and that was an amazing reversal. Floats over into a sleeper hold. Runic and choke. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. Happy to take a submission or TKO victory. Though he's not known for them. Happy to take it any way he can get it. Is Sarian going to submit it? Oh, no. Nope. Gets to the rope. Scooches a leg over to the bottom rope, forcing the hole to be broken. Is Sarian coughing and sputtering now? Okay, in the far corner. Could be warming up for that big Yakuza kick. Here he goes. Oh, hits it. And couldn't have hit it harder. Whips him again. Going for a second. Oh, oh, flew too close to the sun. Way. On the second rope now. Sarian smacks him in the back. What is his plan now? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he knows. Oh, he's cooking something up. Climbing out now. What could we be looking for? Top rope sunset flip. A sunset power bomb thing. I'm thinking sunset flip, but. Here we go. It's Boom. It. Nails it. Rolls back all the way into the corner. Here comes Sarian. And... Oh! Bulldog! <laughs> gave me... Uh, I moved so good it gave me tuberculosis. Wow. Bulldog right on top of his head. Drives him top of his head straight into the mat. I mean... Very well could have injured his neck doing that. Similar to move I saw Sarian do to Special Guy way back and would have been 05 or 06, one of their first meetings against each other. I remember a similar move taking place. Sarian going back to a classic that time. I'm sure K does not appreciate the nostalgia. Probably not as much as someone watching it. Oh, and I, he just got dropped midsection. It might have been lower midsection, if you know what I'm talking I about. It was that, that the second rope. head I was talking about earlier. Hey, now. Ho, ho, ho. Hey. <laughs> just, just joshing. No, Josh is in the next match. <laughs> I mean, Dave. Who's Oops. Josh? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, whatever. Going for a top rope stunner. Gets Bad thrown off. Bad idea. Here's Special K. Not known for his flying, but he certainly can do it. Whoa, Beautiful diving, diving headbutt. headbutt. May have done more damage to himself, though. He's got to make a cover here. Diving headbutt is a high-risk, high-reward move. Yeah, if you, if you don't put a guy away with it, really, I mean... You've hurt yourself. It's not... Uh, maybe not necessarily worth it. I don't know. Like, it's one of those things Let's that ask Chris Benoit. Oh. Back to the match. Yeah. <laughs> oh, slap in the face. Just exchanging elbows and punches. Sarian throwing both oh, hands. Hard punches. Rocking him in the jaw. Off the ropes. Wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow stunner, perhaps? No. Nope. Onto his feet. Saw it coming. Rolls Roll through, through into the clutch. the clutch. Got it locked. Got it locked on. Crossing the legs. Sarah does not have much room to go. He's going to have to edge his way over to the ropes like he did when he was in that rear naked choke. And makes it. Gets to the ropes. To Sarian's credit. 
He's getting out of these. Now, one thing we haven't discussed is, uh, I'm sure we've discussed it during other matches, is how hot it is. It's hot. You can see those guys are both sweating a whole bunch. Yeah. This is a hot day. It's late July. It's a stuffy warehouse. Bad ventilation. And, I mean, I can't blame Special K. He wants, he's feeling it. He wants oh, to finish things off. Just smoked him with a roaring elbow. Up and down with a brain wow. buster. I would not be surprised if we just see a three count it. here. One, two, two only. Only a two. Again, don't like what he's been doing lately, but giving Saren credit where credit is due. He kicked out when he it was important. Kicking out of pins and escaping submissions when he needs to most. I guess uh, <laughs> it's probably good to kick out, you know, every time you're pinned. Every time? Yeah. yeah. So I'd say the more you kick out, the better you'll so do. On when, average, it, when it's important would be always every, every time. Yes. When you're being pinned. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, rolls through that Darkness Buster attempt. And back over now. Held on. Nope. To the ropes. Super oh. kick out of nowhere. Hard super kick. K's up though. Oh. Super kicks him. Hit him in the chest. Didn't get a, a Did, full Yeah, didn't full get him amount. all the way in the face, but now... Stunned him, though. Darkness oh. Buster nails it. That might over be for it. the pin. Hook a leg, son. Oh. Two count. Didn't hook the leg. What's it going to take? K is such a major... K's wondering that same question. Pin attempts here. None have got the job done. But you got to believe he's getting close. He can't... He, at a point, if he keeps pulling off moves like this, he's going to get the pin. Sarin cannot kick out forever. Oh, that's for sure. Indefinitely. That's for sure. Okay, even a little frustrated. Oh, hey. Rake of the eyes. Thumb of the eyes. That's bad. Bad voodoo. Checking the eye. Yeah, checking on K. Oh. Sari now, does he have that title belt? Yes, He's he does. Belt. Of course he does. He's been using that in almost every title defense. Hiding it from the ref. Oh, ref catches it, though. Good eye, ref. Oh, here's Special K. Uh-oh. Oh, low blow behind the ref's back. Oh. Ref, I'm less impressed with you now. And, and fans less impressed with him. You were so good with catching that belt, and then... And he missed the big old low blow. Uh oh. Drew calling. Drew calling. And a big one. He drilled him with that. Dumps him on his upper back and neck. Sarian's got to make a cover. He could retain the title here. Could do it right here. Drew calling's a big move. Hooks the leg. Two. Two only. Both men not going down without a fight. Sarian bringing K to his feet. <laughs> Going for a straight up stunner. Oh, spear now. Big spear. That was a very casual fuck you, motherfucker, for the record. He, he knows how he feels. Fuck you, motherfucker. Going for a stunner now. Looks like in. Two only again. Only two. I wish I had the. Results in front of me, but I don't. But I can tell you that Sarian either won or had his first title defense of the title with a with that spear. Ah. Although I think the spear also involved the title belt. It did. As he has been I did, I prone to. It did involve the title belt. Oh, he's gonna give K his own move. Well, I mean that's the ultimate humiliation. Darkness Buster on his opponent. What's he got here? Going for it. Oh. Oh. Knees his way out of it. Knows the counters to his own move. And here we go. Oh, what darkness. We got here? Hooking the leg With like the a fisherman. Oh, my God. Could that be it? Crazy variation of the darkness. I've never seen one, two, hooks the leg, three. Gets it. Special K is your new and final VCW Triple Crown Champion. K does it. K, as we said before, joins the short ranks of multi-time Triple Crown Champions with a move I, you, nor anyone watching, I believe, has ever seen before. Yeah, I don't even know what to call that. It's like a fisherman darkness buster or... Yeah, it's, or arm trap, something like that. Regardless, got it's the job done. Crazy. Oh, music's been cut. Music has been cut, as per request of Drew Sarian. Huh. 
Is he, he going to hit him with all the belts? That Why, like something you know, he would do. last show, got to step it up. He's been hitting people with one belt. Oh, is he going to give him one of them? Special K, give him all of them. Okay. Gonna give him all of them. Looking to advice from the crowd. Drew Sarin handing the belts oh, no. over. Willingly. There we go. Turns him around. Puts the final belt on him. Drew Sarian finally showing some honor after his month-long reign of terror, for lack of a better term. Special guys done at the two hug in the ring. Stay tuned for your two final matches. Daniel Makabe versus Dangerous Dave Devereaux in the final meeting between Scott Henson and Yakuza J. Come on, let this timing work. Yes! <laughs>